recently in the tech talk news, um, GitHub have acquired a company called Semel. Um, and basically what they're doing is they're integrating um, some good AppSec practices into the Git flow. So um, when we build software, uh, vulnerabilities could exist uh, within the code base. So they can creep in through a lot of different ways. But um, yeah, the, the, the vendor that they've gone with and acquired is uh, called Semel. And they are leaders at basically um, a type of query language that will delve into your code base uh, using some specified queries and try and identify any potential uh, issues that exist. So these are all round general quality checks. So you can imagine almost like lint checking, um, but a bit more advanced. Um, and it's also um, being used to, with a great deal of success for finding security vulnerabilities. So that's what I'm more interested in here is the, um, the security aspect of it to be able to find zero days, for example, which is which is fantastic. Um, it's being used by like top vendors as well that are out there. So the big boys are playing with this. Um, so just a few of the highlights, uh, this SEML tool, um, some of the, the problems it's identified in those code bases that are out there already. So yeah, try tested, proven, um, it looks really good. So what I'm going to do is, um, just delve in just just quickly um, into like what one of these queries would look like so on their website they've got an area over here where it's been set up to delve into different projects that exist out there so the open source side of the ASP entity framework core so as you can see we're importing a C sharp project um, select hello world So that's it, it's actually, it's done its little inspection, but if we expand, what, what I'm interested in doing is just having a quick look at some of these example queries. So here's an example of um, a query that's looking for all catches uh, for IO exceptions. So something like this would show you uh, something using any sort of like disk access, that sort of thing. So there could be, a um, that, that could highlight a region in your code for a bit of closer inspection. But um, there are expert queries which have been built up as well just to uh, identify as a bit of a deeper dive into some of these um, hotspots that, that should probably get a bit more attention from you. Um, if you click down on here, what that will do is take us into a, uh, a commit that was made. There's so much in this tool. Uh, it's very hard to just just cover what's there, but as you can see, the, this is a list of all the um, the assemblies which are being drawn in. So we can see it's also making suggestions on how to resolve some of these problems. So here it's bumping particular versions uh, of the assemblies which are being used in .NET. It's identified there are newer ones available, so that's quite clever. Um, it's a general all-round code quality tool now. Going back a while, um, in C Sharp land, uh, there was a tool called Endepends, and funnily enough, here it is, or Endepend. Um, and this was used to gather up uh, metrics and stats and information about your code base. And as you can see here, uh, the banner was stay in place. We have also a very similar query language. So, this was being used en masse to refactor very complex code bases and identify areas which um, needed a bit more work. Um, and as you can see here, it's doing a delve into the, the code base. Well, the great thing about SEML is they've done that in a very language agnostic way. So once you learn it, you can apply it to different languages. So we have JavaScript, Python, and so on. So what you can expect from this tool is the ability to integrate that into your pipelines. Um, so you'll be able to have automated code reviews in your pull request to highlight any problematic areas that should be looked at, um, which is great, really. Um, you're getting this 
pretty much for free it's going to come into github um very soon um so it's worth it's worth preparing yourself and uh, integrating that into your projects we can see it um over over in this view uh within github it's just detailing us through what the semol site mentions uh token scanning that's particularly important any secrets that have been embedded that's a no-no you don't want that in your code um, yeah and by the look of it they're going to monetize it based around the enterprise the typical enterprise model really so when you're going for high-end integrations um, including LDAP and so on so it's um, yeah it looks it looks quite quite interesting maybe the second column here the, the pro version um, whatever that comes out to be at that would be quite interesting because then you could run that against private repos so now private repos are free it, in github it would appear that the pricing model is around um, extending the features um, that are applied to that private repo so in this case uh, application security scanning um, there are other vendors in the market that do this uh, Synac does this as well uh, if we hop over to the marketplace uh, here we are uh, we'll be able to jump into the security section and you'll see there we are uh, these this is the team behind SEML so we can see we could do all the integration here the same as what we were just looking at a moment ago but by the look of it this may well um, be more integrated than a marketplace offering I'm not sure what they're going to do with it yet uh, but here's another one that I've looked at previously as you can see there's quite a few tools in this space now as the DevSecOps movement gains ground uh, people are starting to realize actually it's a good idea to have a quality gate checking for this constantly as part of our code base um, yeah I've, I really like it so um, I'm gonna have a closer look when the time comes um, there are some webinars at the moment which will be coming out so um, yeah I'm just gonna tune into that understand this query language a little bit better but hopefully there will be a standard library of vulnerability assessments for the various different languages and what I'll probably do is hook into that um, and use that that rule set that query set to then target my projects um, just to identify how things are going overall. Um, oh, there's one there for Neo for J. By the look of it, that's a great uh, that's a great tool. It's relational uh, databases. So, yeah, you can see like a here's a report output for Neo for J. Um, yeah, that's that's brilliant. See, it's highlighting in the code review. Uh, in our case, yeah, I would probably have to delve a bit deeper into what it's flagging here there you have it it's given us a good example of a slice of code sort of problems that might be exposed um, the way in which it's been written so yeah great tool um, good one to keep an eye out on for so uh, I'd imagine a lot of pipelines will start plumbing this in now so uh, yeah, maybe we should too. <laughs> All right, hope you like it. Thanks a lot.